Hey, it's Lon Seidman back with an update, actually a firmware update for the Nikon D600 that I reviewed back in December. Now you'll recall that when you were outputting live video, uh, the D600 initially only gave you 95% of the picture frames. So you were getting a border, as you can see here, around, uh, around what you were shooting. So if you were recording live, and by recording live I mean taking an HDMI signal out of the camera and running it to a recording device, uh, you were losing a lot of the picture. Now you weren't getting that when you were recording to the card, it was giving you the full picture there, but if you're doing uh, live production where you're having a separate recorder or something like that, it was undesirable. And I'm happy to say though that the new firmware update, version 1.01, .01, will give you the full picture. And here we are, we're actually using this live right now in our studio. Here's my switcher. Um, I'm, I'm on a really uh, 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 high depth of field lens here, so it takes a little bit to focus, but um, it's fantastic. I mean, we've got the full frame now on a camera that uh, is very affordable, and this could really become a, a decent production tool uh, in your workflow. So uh, there's a couple other things in the firmware. There's support for an 800 millimeter lens and a couple of other things, but really this 100% this full frame video uh, live off the HDMI is a big, big and welcome change. So uh, if you're looking at the camera uh, and didn't like it for that reason, it's now been fixed with this latest firmware update. Uh, one other thing that some people asked me was about the dust that would get on the sensor, and I uh, did have a lot of problems with that, as many others did uh, with the early versions of the camera. Uh, but I was able to send it into Nikon and they fixed it, uh, no questions asked. So I was without it for about a week and a half or so, which was kind of a bummer when I just got the camera. But um, I haven't seen any of those spots appear back on the sensor yet. But of course, I will let you all know if that problem continues. This is Lon Seidman with the recently updated D600 from Nikon. Thanks for watching.